TNT and diamond rings. I'm Matt Drury and this is a Nomad Cutting Room Floor edition of DOD TV. The rut might be winding down, but the movement, it's starting to pick back up. With energy depleted, the Bucks are back in search of some nutrition, and Mark and Wade are hoping to take advantage of their need to feed. With several shooters on their list, including one that Mark's been after all season, there's no shortage in the action. To cap it all off, Taylor calls Mark from Utah with some big news. <clears throat> hint, hint. Well, good morning. It should be a beautiful morning this morning. Crystal clear skies, it's 34 degrees. We've got a light south wind and uh, we're going up to a classic morning stand, a big ridge above a big bottom bean field. Up on top of that ridge, we've got a green field planted. We're gonna climb into one of our box blinds and watch that green field this morning. I have a suspicion, I haven't been there in a bit to check the card, but I have a suspicion this green field's probably down to dirt because it was getting hit pretty hard in the early part of the season. But nonetheless, they still come through there. There's probably still some bulbs out there from those plants and we're gonna cross our fingers. Hopefully have some luck there this morning. Beautiful morning to be a boat hunter.
they might be on that same hot toe that that uh, buck we call Pretty Boy followed in, but she was standing back here for the longest time. And then that six pointer come in and went to the same exact spot, just kind of eased off into the brush. <laughs> Figured he'd come right back out to the green with all the does, but he just followed that one. Two giants within 30 yards. Just our luck. But hey, two great encounters. Got the blood pumping twice. <laughs> this blind hunting's easy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, go, go. Did a little shooting. Checked a few cameras midday. And I think, based on the cameras that I looked at, we're gonna go to a plot that I call Six Fingers. However, it's a new blind, it's a muddy bull. It's the exact bull we shot danger out of last year, so maybe that's good luck. With this little front about to pass through, it could get good this evening. The pressure's still 30.1 and we're having a good day. I heard vandalized today. And on top of that, in about an hour or two, Austin's popping the question. Taylor's in Utah right now, and Austin is going to ask her to marry him today. So it's a good day. Whether we kill one or not, I'm excited. I'm excited to welcome Austin into this family. Could not, could not dream of a nicer young man for Taylor to have as a husband. Could not dream of one. Part of the magic of this farm is the grass. It's uh, right at 550, 600 acres of warm season grasses. We're hoping to see something move past this draw. We actually moved this blind here the other day in preparation for this phase. This is the same blind that I killed danger out of, so maybe it'll bring us some luck. Hopefully to uh, have a muddy moment tonight. That's baby, baby, you. See? Coming across the mm -hmm. Do you see them? buck right there big big four-year-old we call baby baby G that left side is incredible I look down so I'm shining coming over the hill that excites me to see he's still alive if that deer gets to maturity he's gonna be one for the record book
FaceTiming with Taylor. Taylor's trying to reach me, but my signal may not be strong enough. That's pretty cool. Congratulations, sweetie. That's awesome. Are you in the dark? Are you in the blind? Yeah. We're engaged. I know. Let me see that ring. Oh my goodness gracious, girl. It's huge. That's crazy. Congratulations to both of you. Dad, it was like the best. I seriously had no idea and just freaked out when we when we saw it. Like Cindy set up this huge thing overlooking the mountains and he goes, hey, what is that? And you know, my eyes, I couldn't see and it played to his like advantage. And I get out and we walk up to it and I just start bawling. And then he like says everything he says, he gets down on one knee and then he like says something, he says something to Amber, which is a photographer, and I look over and there's a photographer like hidden in the trees. Oh my goodness. What did he say? How did you propose? What did you say? She doesn't remember. She blacked no, out. No, I like, I was shaking so bad, I don't remember. I just, I started to, I had this whole speech planned out, but then she was just like completely bawling the entire time and then I was like starting to cry and I was like, well, I'm done talking, I'm just going to ask her now. But I basically was just like, I love you forever, and I hope you love me forever, and I promise to always take care of you and make sure that you live a wonderful life, and kind of went on about that. And I was just sobbing. She was literally like squeezing my wrist so tight I had no circulation in my hands. Oh, I, was like, I just got to ask her now. And then it took her forever to like stop kissing me to be able to so I could put the ring on her hand. Like she just like wouldn't let me put the ring on her forever. It was it was fun. It was awesome. It was awesome. Oh how cool. Did he make you the happiest girl in the world? Oh my gosh. Every day. Look at this thing, Mark. Oh, <laughs> oh that's awesome. You guys that's he has wonderful taste, obviously. Uh yeah. He, he like put it on my finger, I was like, oh my oh. god. How exciting, that's cool. We are so excited. Are you, where are you now? I'm at Six Fingers and we just encountered TNT, the buck I've been chasing all year. <laughs> what happened? He walked by at 40 yards, but in the standing corn. He didn't come in the path I thought he would, but we got a great encounter with him. Is Wade with you? Yeah, Wade's here filming all this. Oh, okay, hi. Congrats. <laughs> Thanks, Wade. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh, that's awesome. I'm getting married. You're getting married. To the best guy ever. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, I'm like, my dad is so full of it. I go, he gave me this whole spiel about how you didn't ask him yet, and it was going to be next spring, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad she was surprised. That's amazing. That's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, how cool is that? That's good stuff. That's awesome. She couldn't have found a better guy. She could not have. Awesome moments. Still light out there. Yeah, put light on your face. Still light out there in Utah. And uh, we're sitting here in the blind. We just encountered TNT. He walked by at 40 yards. Pretty good night, I'd say. The coyotes are howling, singing us a song now. Pretty good stuff. Good night. Congratulations, Taylor and Austin. Good stuff right there. We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV.